Hi folks, back again, Bass Rope Chronicles number 151. And uh, this actually is just a, a, a really sad one. And uh, I guess in fairness, there's a possibility I might have some bias here, although I don't think I do. Uh, I just want to mention that when I was a kid, if you will, well, not actually a kid, when I was 30, I raced motorcycles for, uh, I think it was three years. Didn't do a whole lot of it. Had three full seasons of short track, which for those of you who don't know, that's quarter mile dirt and, and some half miles, and maybe 15 or so road races uh, with motorcycles. So I just thought I'd mention that because that's what I'm going to talk about. Sadly, a few weeks ago, maybe two, three, four weeks ago, a, a young fellow, 13 years old, was killed while road racing a motorcycle at Indianapolis. 13 years old old and um, just shortly thereafter uh, a fellow 19 now of course you know at that time you're an adult but it just so happened that, that these two things happened so close together this fellow uh, 19 was killed I'm sure there are other people being killed that we don't know about who are racing motorcycles and cars and so on and so forth because unless it's some kind of an event where someone will be there or whatever the national press or something it's doubtful that every death by uh, any kind of racing is covered nationally. It may be covered locally, but I doubt it's covered nationally. I guess it raises a couple of questions. Uh, I guess two questions. And it was, this was batted back and forth in, 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 in the press when the 13 year old was killed. And that is, should parents be uh, uh, consent, consenting for their children who are 13 years old to race? and to do something that is inherently dangerous. Does everybody who races a motorcycle get killed? Of course not. Do, do every, everyone who races a motorcycle get injured? Well, <laughs> it, I, I think it would be fair to say, if you race long enough, something is going to happen to you. <laughs> but get killed? No, of course not. Uh, but I guess there's, as I was getting ready to say, there's the two questions there. There's number one, should parents allow their children to participate in activities like that where they could get killed, injured, seriously injured, or what have you. Should they? And secondly, does a 13-year-old fully appreciate what they're doing as far as the consequences? Uh, yeah, they know Joey over there fell last week and broke his leg, and Jose over there fell last week and broke his arm. But of course, these are kids, man. I mean, their arms most likely fix themselves before they get home from the hospital. Uh, so th they see that kind of stuff, but how often do they actually see one of their friends or competitors get killed? It's rare. But I don't know. If you had a 13-year-old who wanted to race motorcycles, would you allow him to race motorcycles? What do you think? Of course, the press also came out and, and noted uh, all the... Uh, race drivers who started racing at five years old, six years old, seven years old. Uh, primarily they would start racing go-karts like I believe Tony Stewart and Jeff Gordon and no telling how many of these other racers who, you know, NASCAR racers who we hear about all the time. They all started at a fairly young age. And uh, I don't know, it's just, it was just really sad to read about this young kid, you know, 13 years old, out there doing what, of course, I'm sure he enjoyed doing but killed just like that so I don't know uh, as I said I don't really have a position on this as such I I, I just don't know but anyway it's Pat Gondell would say peace ladies and gentlemen peace